Hey everybody, now what I'm about to say in this video, think about it logically. Take your feelings and put them aside, like I've said so many times. Turn your brain on. Loosen up your MAGA hat, because your MAGA hat's probably a little too fucking tight. And think about this outside of being a... Uh, an orange Kool-Aid drinking Trump supporter. Because I watched this interview live. And as soon as Trump said this and said a bunch of other stuff, I was like, bro, I don't care about how you feel about everybody else. I don't care. And all these conservative channels are all like, look, Kamala Harris said Trump 57 times. Well, how many times has Trump said Kamala Harris, Liz Cheney, Joe Biden, Adam Schiff? How many times has Trump said everybody else's fucking name? But, oh, nobody calls Trump out on the carpet. Well, I'm calling Trump out on the carpet. I know my channel isn't shit to anybody. But, bro, most people don't give a fuck about the people on the left. And you got a nickname for everybody. Makes you sound like a fucking bully. But yet all the Trump supporters get all mad and stuff when somebody's like, you know, big dick Donald Trump or orange man or tiny hands Trump. You know, all the stuff that the leftists said, they get all fucking triggered. Trump. This might end you in jail. And it's just sad to say that it looks like it's going to be my state doing it. Because you, sir, did, in fact, by the law, issue a death threat. A very dumb individual, very dumb. <laughs> She's a radical war hawk. Let's put her with a rifle standing there with nine barrels shooting at her, okay? Let's see how she feels about it. You know, when the guns are trained on her face. You know, the how dis Yeah. And I will link this channel, and I want everybody to go and read the comments. And then I will link the Officer Tatum's channel, which you all should be subscribed to anyway, in the comments also. So go and watch both of these videos after you watch mine. And then go and read all the comments. All the comments on this guy's channel are calling for Trump to be arrested. Because he just issued a death threat. And then here it says, Arizona AG investigates Trump's comments about Liz Cheney as possible death threat. As soon as I watched that Tucker Carlson and Donald Trump interview, that's instantly what came to my mind. Because see, my mind's not clouded with orange Kool-Aid. I don't wear a MAGA hat. I don't even own a fucking MAGA hat. You know, I'm all about freedom. The Second Amendment. A lot of people don't even like what I say about the First Amendment. And if you haven't heard that, I will say it right now. Yes, we have free speech. But smart people use smart speech. And what is smart speech? Smart speech is knowing that if you walk up to Mike Tyson and you call that heavyweight boxing champ the N-word, you might wake up in the hospital. Free speech gives you that right. Free speech gives you the right to be a Karen. But smart speech is like, maybe I don't need to do that. Maybe I don't need to open my mouth and have a fucking opinion about everything. Maybe I don't need to be the guy that I did a video on yesterday that said it was his right to wear his Trump hat while he was voting. Which, it isn't. You can't campaign within so many feet of the door of where you go vote. Wearing a MAGA hat, wearing a Trump hat, wearing a Kamala Harris hat. That's all campaigning. P 
people. You just got to be fucking smarter than what you are. Right. I just spoke to Attorney General Chris Mays about uh, two hours ago for the taping of my Sunday show. Uh, she told me she had just got gotten off the phone with her cr criminal division chief, and she was investigating whether what Donald Trump said about Liz Cheney constituted a death threat under Arizona law. Yeah. And you see, this is also why. And I've gotten so many people mad at me when I've said this. I've said it back when I was doing the podcast and I said it on live streams and people are all like, Rrr. we don't need to have individual state laws. And I was talking about traveling then because in some states you can have a pickup truck towing a, a fifth wheel camper trailer with your bass boat on the back. You cross that state line and now... It's against the law. That's like here in Arizona, it's a constitutional carry state. Well, what if you're out living on the eastern side of Arizona and you happen to stumble across that imaginary boundary line? Now you're in New Mexico. Now you're committing a felony. We don't need 50 individual laws and then one federal law. Either we have no federal laws and we all go by our individual state laws or because we are the United States, we unite under one federal law and that's how we rule everything. So everything is the same in every fucking state. We vote the same, we do this the same, we do that the same. But so many people are like, no, 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 we're the United States of America. You know, sounds like a bunch of bullshit to me.